Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm diving into the latest update from Hit and Mix. The Rip X Doll Pro has officially reached version 7.5. And spoiler alert, it's packed with some serious upgrades. <laughs> Okay, so time is precious and I don't want to waste yours. What's new in version 7.5? Well, there's been over 100 improvements. Now, the big ones, better note separation, upgraded sound quality, smoother audio to MIDI exports, and yes, way better guitar chord recognition. And if you're into automation, there's now a drag and drop system for lanes, which is super intuitive. Now, for those of you who may be new to RipX, you may be asking yourself, what makes this different from other DAWs on the market? Well, for one, it blends MIDI and audio into one workflow. So there's no more separate tracks to mess with. You can rip stems, split notes, swap out instruments, and even rework sounds from your favorite VSG3 instruments. The note and chord recognition in this DAW is a game changer. If you're a musician who's looking to learn parts of a song or a producer experimenting with remixes, this feature is definitely a lifesaver. Okay, headed over to the desktop now. We're gonna take a look at RipX Doll Pro on the desktop. I've got loaded up a version of a song that I just recently put together called Here I Am. This is an instrumental song. Each one of these layers is represented by a different color. So guitar is in yellow, bass is in purple, the kick is in this white region, and you can zoom in and out like this. Let's take a listen to what Rip X Doll Pro can do in a situation like this. Like, let's say, for instance, that I wanted to take this kick that's in this song. Let's say I'm listening to that. I'm like, that kick's not loud enough. I can turn the kick up individually here on the left-hand side of the screen. With this little fader right here. Or I can replace that kick entirely. So I notice the bass might be a little bit loud. I can turn that down. So I'm going to go over here to sounds. And I'm going to find a different kick that I think might work better with this mix. Or let's just say I just want to experiment. Let's try a 909. So original, 909, very cool, right? And all of this can be done on the fly. So you can actually listen to this in real time in context with the entire mix. Um, let's say for instance, the guitars, I want to change these guitars to a flute. Let's just see if it'll do it. So that's pretty stinking cool. I mean, there's not a lot of other things out there that can do that and do it this quickly. Now, also over here on the right hand side of the screen, you'll notice that there's actually different areas of interest. So let's look at the effects. There's a whole slew of effects here. I'm going to try to zoom in on them. So as you can see, there is a whole slew of effects here that you can put on. And those are effects that are built into this RipX Doll Pro. Um, and then there's repairing that you can do. And this can be done on anything within the mix. There's also different sounds. Like we just went through several sounds um, for the bass and for the kick. And we were talking about how you could swap those sounds out. Well, you can actually bring in your own VSTi instruments here. And make it one of the sounds that you can choose from. So that's really cool. So let's go to a song that I have written and released called She Sings. If I click on the master up here, I can control the master volume right here. If there's a red bar at the bottom, it's telling me that it's gonna be clipping. So I'm gonna leave this here at zero. I'm gonna click on the voice channel and solo the voice channel out by itself. So that way you can kind of get a feel for how well it works. She got eyes that smile, Kentucky green, and a heart that's full of broken dreams. And I apologize for my horrible singing. Um, there actually, that's, that's quite impressive because there is a lot, and I do mean a lot of effects on that vocal. 
because I was trying to get that country sound. There's like a doubling effect. There's delays and reverbs. So for it to be able to pick that out of the mix and take that out and single it out, that's pretty good. So this is what it would, would have normally sounded like. You got eyes that smile, Kentucky green, and a heart that's full of broken dreams. But so now I've muted the vocals. There's a little bit of warbly wobbliness. I mean, a lot of these, I don't care how good they get, they're not going to be able to completely remove something from it, but it does a really good job based off of the other ones that I've tested and tried out. Now, if at any time I want to export the stems from this, I can do that up here by going to File and Export. It will allow me to export all the way up to 32-bit wave up to, wow, 192 kilohertz stereo. It'll tell, ask me where it wants me to do that and then what to export. So the full rip, a selected time notes, like specific notes, or selected rips. It can be a single file, separate stems, or separate layers even. So there's a lot of stuff that you could do here. You could load in a song that you're wanting to sample and just remove the vocals from it or just remove whatever it is that you're trying to sample and only export that. So that's really cool. Likewise, you'll see that this there's this little brain up here at the top. If I was to click on that, it's going to take me to the Hit and Mix website where it's going to show me uh, four different audio uh, AI music generation tools that I can use that will seamlessly work backwards and forwards. So in other words, I can take a rip, bring it into Suno, have it write lyrics for it, or have it come up with something for it. And then likewise, if I have Suno write me a song, I can bring it into RipX and try to fix it or remove things that I don't like from it until I essentially am able to release something that I feel like has got my own uh, fingerprints on it. So right now the screen does look kind of busy, but I've got all the panels up. So I can take the rips panel off. I can take the layers panel off. I can take the interactive help off if I want. And now I've got a, a little bit of a cleaner region here. I can take off the loops. I can take off anything that I don't necessarily use or want to see on the screen can be taken off or put back on. Okay, well, I hope this was informative or helpful. If you would like to take advantage of the free trial, go over to the Hit and Mix website. You'll be able to download this for free. Wow, as you can see, a 21-day free trial, that's quite a bit of time to get to use this thing, put it through its paces, and figure out if you want to add it to your arsenal. So my final thoughts, Ripex Doll version 0.75 is definitely worth checking out. Whether you're a producer, musician, DJ, or even an educator, it's got the tools that you need to make your workflow more creative and fun. If you'd like to learn more about this DAW, the link will be in the description for more information. Likewise, if you'd like to read up on this, I have an entire blog post that I've just posted over on homestudiosimplified.com if you want to check that out. All right, that's it for today. Let me know in the comments what feature are you the most excited to try out. Until next time, remember that we can dream alone, we can even create alone, but together we can achieve so much more.